I wanna become the Wither King! I wanna become the King of the Pirates! R. I wanna be Hokage! Believe it! I just wanna save my sister. Right now, we're in an interesting time period for Shonen. Instead of the tried and true fun-loving plots, which are just excuses to have fights, Shonen's moving in a new direction where the story actually matters. Demon Slayer, Dr. Stone, and Fire Force are all extremely good examples that come to mind. So if you're interested in what this new wave is all about, let's dig into Demon Slayer. Holy moly, it's motherfucking Scamboli. And if you don't know, this is my series On The Radar, where I find good anime so you don't have to. Today we're gonna be talking about Demon Slayer, so let's get to the summary. We follow our protagonist, Tanjiro, through the Taisho period of Japan. He's a nice kid selling coal in a different town and is forced to be away from home one night due to a storm. He comes back to discover his family's been annihilated by demons, the only survivor being his sister. Thing is, his sister's been transformed into a demon. Tanjiro goes through grueling training and hardship to become a demon hunter capable of curing his sister. Demon Hunter is a show where you can very easily find yourself being addicted to. The plot itself is very intriguing and opens itself up to tons of potential. I read the manga and the plot progresses at a really nice pace. Where many other shonen have frustratingly long ass arcs, this story seems to always be on the move. So if you're sick of generic shonen storytelling, this is the show for you. Now the storytelling is not some Shakespearean masterpiece, but even if we took away the entertaining ass fights, I'd still be interested enough to stick around. So let's move on to the characters. Definitely one of the strongest points the show has is its main character. Whereas most shonen protags say to themselves, I must be better, I can't keep getting my ass beat. Tanjiro skips all of that and just does better. He's extremely quick-witted, doesn't have any shitty motives, isn't annoying, and is overall a really, really likable character. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get in this season, so I'll play it safe by saying that the main cast is pretty enjoyable. I could see this guy getting annoying, but I personally don't feel that way because I didn't hear him screaming in the manga. But everyone has a nice amount of growth growth of their character, so even if you don't initially like them, you eventually will. So with that out the way, let's move on to the next segment, which is art. At face value, the art is nothing special, and that's what I believed until midway through the episode. While the show isn't generally pretty, it does make for some very special moments, namely this wood scene. I'll also note that the art is very efficient. Confusing or just unclear moments in the manga were effortlessly cleared up in the anime adaptation. If they keep this up, the action scenes later in the series could be really goddamn cool, and that's what I think what matters most in a show like this. Hopefully the future episodes look the same. Now I wouldn't listen to a single one of these songs by themselves, but much like the promised Neverland, the music seems to always fit the mood. While I wasn't that into it, a lot of the comments I saw were foaming out the fucking mouth for this music, and I think that means something. People rarely give a shit about music and anime besides the openings, so when I see a bunch of people take note of it, it's gotta be good, right? Now I'm not bullshitting when I say that this will be the best anime of this season, but if you're new, which a lot of you are, and think I'm just talking my shit, look at my track record. Ooh, what's this? I called this one, this one, this one, and this one all becoming popular. I don't I don't know about this one because I was too busy to finish it and But my point is still made. Check out Demon Slayer if you're into Shonen with a little bit of a dark twist. There's action, a nice story, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna get popular. So that's it, and that's the video. This is the part where you stop watching, but in case you're still here, I'm gonna be doing a thing next Friday. I'm not gonna be late this time, so yeah, peace. <laughs>